Now, in Pondicherry, 21-year-old government-owned buildings, uh, including a school, a college, and a cafe, have been declared protected structures. Now, this marks a victory for conservationists who have been actually fighting to preserve the Union Territory's unique architectural heritage. the home of Tamil poet, journalist and freedom fighter Subramanya Bharti in Pondicherry, being restored by the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage. After the British issued orders for his arrest in 1908, Bharati escaped to the seaside town which was under French rule and lived and worked here for the next 10 years. Over time, it fell into disrepair like many other public and private buildings in Pondicherry constructed in the French and Tamil style or a harmonious mix of both because no one knew how to preserve them. Primarily the problem is that they do not know anything about these buildings and our engineering curriculum since probably let's say last uh, 70 years, 80 years has slowly phased out all the masonry buildings. Anything about masonry buildings they don't teach anymore. What they teach about is only concrete and concrete. So it's a question of convincing them, showing them all around as to what is there. There are masonry bridges, you know, arch bridges for 150 years old. There are buildings, these buildings, they are standing, you know, for, for uh, decades there. But last year, after the collapse of the 144-year-old Mary building, the beautiful municipal secretariat of the French government, local authorities seemed determined to pull down old structures. Recently, three schools were vacated because they were considered unsafe. Very, very unfortunately, they have a new argument now after the fall of the Mary building, which is unsafe. A building was never considered unsafe in that sense. In fact, all these three schools had children in them till the day after the fall of the Mary. And it was only after that that suddenly all the children were removed, the buildings were declared unsafe and the doors were locked. And the PWD traditionally, primarily because of their background and because of the lack of understanding of what heritage buildings and the preservation and conservation entails, they are ready to mark them as unsafe. Meanwhile, INTAC continues to push the line of conservation. In the past decade, it has had several successful outings, especially in the French Quarter, where a number of houses have been restored some are now shops and cafes and the hub of tourist activity in Pondicherry. This hotel was once a private residence to which every successive tenant made some alterations or additions. When we started we wanted to really say let's uncover the beauty underneath all of this. And we wanted to retain the feeling of a home. Uh, so that was one challenge, it was a constant endeavour. The second was finding the right artisans because some of the things that we did was actually bring back the old way of construction. For example, the roofs are all what you call madras terrace. In the Tamil part of the town, Intak was able to restore this street, even as other traditional houses with their intricately carved wooden doors, verandas and courtyards continue to make way for concrete buildings totally unsuitable for local climatic conditions. But perhaps the restoration of Subramanya Bharati's home will inspire others to protect and reclaim their unique heritage. With Priyatu Vasheri, Shikha Trivedi for NDTV.